This video can absolutely be career changing what you're about ready to learn from Phil Jones, the author of Exactly What to Say. This book has sold over 2.2 million copies to both realtors and mortgage professionals. What Phil is going to show you is exactly what to say when you're calling your database calls. So when you're getting equity alerts, you're getting cash out alerts, Phil's going to show you exactly what to say. Check it out. We build openings around this all the time using a framework I built called OFQ. O stands for opening, F stands for fact, Q stands for question. We're looking for a polite opening, a mutually agreeable fact, and then an easy to answer question. So what would my polite opening be is, hi, it's Phil calling from insert name of loan company, right? The mutually agreeable fact may be that we did some business together to help secure the home for you at 123 Main Street. That could be the fact if that fact is true. What I'm looking to do is to get to permission as quickly as possible. It's mutually agreeable if we work together in 2019 to be able to secure you the loan on 123 Main Street. Ah, yes, you did. See how all of a sudden some friction has disappeared. You've got a right to call me because we did some business together in the past. If that's true, we're in good shape. If that's not true, we got to write a different OFQ. Here's the question. Are you guys still living at 123 Main Street? They know the answer to that question. You see how quickly a response will come back? When people have been in a home for two years, three years, four years, they start to realize that this is either the long-term home that they want to be in for the four future or they start thinking about where they want to move next. What I was wondering was, is, is where are you guys at? In, in terms of that decision-making process. Are you you here for the foreseeable future or are you flirting with some other ideas or giving consideration to some other ideas as to where you might want to go? See, as a loan officer, either way, I'm in good shape. If they're here for the foreseeable future, we need to start strategizing around where a refi might be useful or where any equity release could show up or where some form of opportunity to help them get to home ownership quicker could look like. If they say, well, it's so funny that you called. In, in, in fact, we, we're looking at changing area completely and, and we've been working with a real estate agent out in California and 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 yeah we've been we've been seeing some open houses and um we were thinking about putting an offer in on something recently and and um yeah we just had to get a proof of funds a you know a, a letter that said that, that that we can afford it so it's funny that you're chatting to us again right now too so Phil just taught everybody a trust sequence an opening a fact and then strategic questions that get to the need speed to need now he's going to show you how a trust engine cash out alert powered by our sales boomerang platform, how you can get to that. You can open the conversation and we're finding a lot of these cash out alerts are turning into purchase business. So that is an opportunity to bring that to a real estate agent and a loan. Check it out. Let's look at the OFQ again is, hi, it's Phil calling from Insert Loan Company. We did some business together back in so-and-so to be able to help you buy the house at Insert Location. Question is, are you guys still living yet? The mistake that too many people make is they try to put their ask in their first opening. Hi, my name's so-and-so. I'm just calling today. I'm just hoping. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. If you're using the words I'm just, you're probably approaching it the wrong way. And then it feels like it's almost apologetic and that I'm interfering and in like it just feels clunky. What I'd rather do is to check they're still living there. And then I can insert another fact, right? But this is now an expert-based fact. At this point in home ownership, what often happens is people find themselves in one of two scenarios. At this point in home ownership, people often find themselves in one of three scenarios. See how I'm normalizing wherever they're at. They're anxiously working through whatever puzzle they're working through on their own. The second I say that at this point in home ownership, people find themselves in one of two or one of three scenarios, and I paint out you're either this, this, or this, and I say, which one are you guys? Relief just enters their world. You see how now all of a sudden I can be helpful with them on this? Well, what's interesting is that one of the huge pieces of value you get from choosing us at, insert, name of loan company, is that we're committed with you for the long term. We already hold a lot of valuable information about you from the first loan that you completed with us. So should there need to be anything that we do to help release more equity, do this, et cetera, is the process to be able to make that happen with us is so much easier, so much less friction, and so much less challenging than it would be going elsewhere. You see how all of a sudden I'm lacing against the objection of them working with somebody else before they've even said it. 
Now that you know the Phil Jones OFQ framework of how to go from open, fact, and in needs-based questions, you have everything you need to go speed to need, to get to the need of the consumer faster. But now you got to call those alerts. Every morning before nine o'clock, call your sales boomerang alerts and you will have career-changing success. And let us know the success you're having. Share it with us in our Facebook group.